39 to 46 knots. Holy shit, it's windy. Um, yeah, wow. Hasn't been this windy in ages and it's super rare for it to be this windy in the summer. So excited about this, slash a little bit nervous. The smallest RPX I have is an eight meter. So naturally I'm gonna send it on the eight and then we're gonna take a Formula 140 um because that is my new favorite big air board it is so sick it's so light it makes such a difference so mind you today i could do with a heavy board just to hold it down but yeah it is like force nine the sea is just white um but yeah let's go let's send it this is when you know it's really really bloody windy it's when you can't actually open the door look I don't know if you can hear the sand hitting the kite, but holy moly, this is about as windy as it gets. Wish me luck. I think I'm going to get some guys to actually hold me down. I'm hiding behind my kite right now, so you can hear me. So, whew, I'm a bit nervous actually. My friend's out on a five, and I brought an eight down, so it's going to be gnarly.
Wow, that was honestly one of the windiest sessions I've ever been out in. I know I may have said that before, but seriously, that was like a consistent 40 to 50 knots. I was just looking on Chimet, which is the local weather station, and at 11.30 it gusted 55 knots, which is just bonkers. It's so rare for this time of year, you know, it's late May and 50 knots, and it's not really like a storm, it's just like one day of mad wind. Like there's not much swell, it was quite choppy. Um, yeah, a couple of local guys tried to go out and got hammered. They were on like fives and six. I was so impressed with my eight meter RPX. It was actually insane how well it, it withstanded those conditions. Um, I pumped it up to about 12 PSI because those little kites in this much wind, you have to have like ping, ping, ping. Otherwise they just deform and fold in half. There was a guy on like a blade kite that literally, the kite literally just tore in half because the wind ripped it to shreds, but that's what you get for buying a, a blade kite. <laughs> but yeah, no, sick session. I'm stoked I went out and uh, conquered, conquered the beast. It was really good actually. I haven't had a session like that for a while. And I, I definitely had some of the biggest jumps I've had on an RPX, bigger than I went in Cape Town actually. Um, but it was just super cyclonic wind, like massive gusts. So you'd be up there and you'd lift again or you'd just drop out the sky. And it's so disconcerting when it's like that. Um, so I just literally did safety jumps for the entire session. Didn't risk it with too many kite loops and, and rotations and stuff. But no, it's so cool being out there. It's wicked. Had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Please subscribe if you're not already. Smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.